I was at Pratt Institute yeah. in Brooklyn to speak for Black History Month. And I spoke for 45 minutes, not more worried about gentrification. And then we had a Q&A. And this brother walked up to the microphone and said, do you think gentrification is positive? And that's when I lost it. You know, hold on one second, because Michael Rappaport was here a little while ago, and he actually responded to your comments on gentrification. Mm-hmm. Check this out. City's I mean, changing. Spike lives on the Upper East Side. <laughs> in the, if the people that donated m- money to Spike Lee's film, his last film, saw the, the apartment that he lived in, they would bug out. So I don't know what he's talking about. You know, neighborhoods change, life change, life changes. You know, Spike Lee... You know, went from, you know, being a Knicks fan, sitting in the blue seats. Now, you know, people evolve. Things evolve. They get better. You know what I mean? And those neighborhoods in Brooklyn, the, the majority of the neighborhoods that have been gentrified were either abandoned. Williams Point, Williamsburg was a, was a joke to, in the 90s. It was like this little nichey place. And it was like, you know, warehouses. It's good that it got better. <laughs> First of all, motherfucking rap hordes know what he's fucking talking about. Here's the thing, gentrification, what Michael Rapport left out because he's stupid, he did not, he not talk about the people who can no longer afford to live in Williamsburg, who can no longer afford to live in Fort Greene, who can no longer afford to live in Clinton Hill. Yeah. Yeah, it's better for you, for the people who moved in. Why, 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 let me ask you this. For the schools to get better in Fort Greene, why do we have gentrification? For the garbage we picked up, why did what happened because of gentrification? When you see white young women pushing their kids in strollers down 125th Street, three o'clock in the morning, what does that tell you? What does that tell you? There's more police present. Right, because it's safe. But where was the police before white people moved into Fort Greene? I mean, excuse me, Harlem. Yeah. What? Why don't people are missing the point? People are being displaced. And they never talk about the people who are, who are forced to live out of their neighborhoods because of gentrification. What do you say? And, and, then, and then that thing the Mike Rapport is so lame. That's how, you because know. I live in Up East Side. So to so Jay Z, stop rapping about Brooklyn. When's the last time Jay Z lived the Marcy Project? <laughs> When's the last time Jay Z lived the Marcy Project? Right, probably about 25 years ago, right? Right, with reasonable doubt. So, came so out. from now on, Jay Z can't have any. Mention of Brooklyn. That is so ignorant that because I live in Upper East Side. Yeah. That, that's, that's, that's fucking bullshit. Is that white privilege talking? Look, he's not even a good filmmaker, first of all. Mm. He's not even a good filmmaker. <laughs> <laughs> he's not even a good filmmaker, so I don't know what he's talking about. I could live on the moon. Brooklyn's still going to be inside of me. The only pictures I could make were pictures that were Disney label mm-hmm. pictures. And since you look at some of the great movies I've made, like Black Hawk Down, I could never make that at Disney and didn't make that at Disney. So right. Paramount gives me the opportunity to make a broad range of pictures. 